Hello everyone, welcome back to Wellness Warrior. Hey, I'm so glad you're joining me again, super excited. Um, okay, so today we hit our 10th step of my book, The Self-Love Life. Mm, our step today is to use your voice, but before that, we will go ahead and get started with a little mindfulness exercise. So, close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and let it out. Make sure both feet are on the ground so you're good and grounded. I'm gonna read some quotes and just continue to breathe and just stay present. If any thoughts come in, just gently push them aside and remind yourself that the here and now is the best place to be at. Knowledge is learning something new every day. And wisdom is letting go of something every day. Joy is everywhere. It is in the earth's green covering of grass and in the blue serenity of the sky. Allow yourself to let go of stress and perfectionism. Our minds are full of self-judgment providing a constant noisy soundtrack in our heads and often holding us back in life. Be aware of this and notice how it may be limiting your decisions. So think of which quote resonated with you. Take a deep breath in and let it out. And just feel how the chair supports you. And just pay attention to any tension you may be holding in your body. Don't judge it, just notice it. Just continue to breathe. Focus on your breath. As you inhale and the oxygen expands your lungs. And as you exhale, serenity and peace and love. And when you're ready, come back to this time and this place. All right, everyone. So I'm super excited about lesson 10 so our previous lesson was to honor your inner voice and then this lesson is to use your voice so we can many times listen to ourselves and realize something is up you know we listen to our intuition but also it's important that we use our voice um this can be very challenging especially if you grew up in a family where using your voice is wasn't a welcome thing especially as children we are condition to be accepted so to only say and do that which is appropriate in other people's eyes so then we doubt ourselves and we stop being true to ourselves and using your voice is important because you need to speak your truth we cannot be happy if we're not congruent so congruency is is a crucial part of our well-being so what we're thinking, what we're feeling needs to match what we're doing and what we're saying. So if you're incongruent in your life, you can't really be at peace, which it completely imbalances you from loving yourself for real. So if we want to live this self-love life and we truly want to live in wellness and we want to grow, we need to honor our truth. We need to use our voice. And we need to be congruent. I think one of the most beautiful things I've learned as a therapist is that congruency leads to peace of mind. And I am very transparent and I've learned that congruency is my peace of mind. And that is my joy. When what I think and what I feel, what I say and what I do is in harmony. So there are very effective ways of expressing yourself without being rude. The reaction of others is not your problem. Let me repeat that again. The reaction of others is not your problem. 
You cannot control what people think, feel, and do. That is not your responsibility. Your responsibility is using your voice. That is your responsibility because you're an adult and it is up to you to honor your voice, respect your truth, and use it. And being able to comfortably voice your needs and beliefs uh, when you feel compelled to do so. And then not endlessly worrying about what other people think. So that is very important. Um, you also need to surround yourself with people who encourage you to use your voice. If you are constantly surrounding yourself with people who are toxic, you also need to check yourself. That's a pattern you have. Go to therapy. Yeah. We also need to take responsibility for our own toxicity. What are you doing that is holding you back from using your voice? Are people not supporting you to use your voice? Why do you keep surrounding yourself with this kind of people? Even if it's family members, you can still choose to have healthy boundaries, which we'll talk about later. But you need to be able to use your voice and speak your truth. Years ago, in 2013, when I graduated from my master's as a therapist, I went straight into a PhD because I got accepted, because all my other friends were getting into one, because I'm a Latina who's first college generation and I have a master's degree, so now I need to go for the PhD because it was the right thing to do. I had a lot of support, a lot of amazing, beautiful, wonderful support. The thing was, I got into the PhD, and once I was in it, I was miserable. But I gave it 